Good afternoon. Our guest today is Mats Engman from Amnesty International Sweden. Welcome. Thank you. Today we will discuss about the, the challenges that human rights will face in 2009. At the beginning of the year, uh, the US President Barack Obama announced about the closure of Guantanamo Bay. Do you think that this step will lead to other positive changes in preserving human rights uh, in the fight with terrorism? Uh, well, at least, at, at least we should hope for it. Uh, I think that uh, I think that he, he will go through on on the closing of the Guantanamo Bay, um, although we don't know the timetable for it. And we also expect him to um, uh, order closure of the secret detention centers that the United States have been using in in Europe and in other countries around the world. Um, what will be really interested is, interesting is to see how he will handle the issue on renditions uh, where, where Amnesty and, and lots of other organizations ha have been criticizing the use of uh, where people have been sent to other countries and been subjected to torture and uh, well in order to extract information from them and it will be very interesting to see how he will act on that, on that issue. Uh, so, is Amnesty International willing to take uh, any actions to secure the observation of human rights uh, while, while dismantling Guantanamo Bay? Uh, if if they would let us, uh, of course. I mean, we're we are really interested in, in the, clo the closing of the camp and also what will happen to the prisoners who have been kept there. Um, if they will, if they will have uh, have trials. And if they will have trials, what kind of what will, will those trials be like? Will they be fair and will they be, will they be just trials, or will they just be, well, you know, fake trials where you put people in front of a court even though they have already been uh, been sentenced in practice? Okay, and uh, turning, to, uh, turning to international humanitarian law, we have witnessed a constant violation of it uh, during uh, the past year, and uh, both in Darfur and Gaza. Uh, do you think that it's still possible to enforce international humanitarian law in conflict zones? Uh, I think what, I mean, it's a really complex issue, but um, I think what people must must realize is that if we, if we don't obey to, to the humanitarian law, which have been around for a hundred years, uh, we will create a, a more dangerous society for everyone. Uh, I mean, there are rules of law and those rules must be followed. And what I think is, is interest, interesting and will be a challenge is to, to use the laws not only for the, for for countries who who are poor, uh, who are not, who doesn't have a, a big political influence, but also uh, use them when it's allies to, for example, the countries uh, that have veto rights in the UN Security Council, and I think that's one big challenge. It's, uh, I mean, uh, both both the government of, of Sudan and the government of Israel have, have been accused of war crimes, uh, but the president of, of Sudan has been, there is an order of his arrest from the International Criminal Court, and there is obviously not an order of, of arrest on the Israel, on anyone responsible for the Israeli war crimes that have been taking place. And I don't, I don't think that will happen either, but but it's definitely something to look at because there have been war crimes taking part in, in the conflict in Palestine. But talking generally, do you think that the humanitarian intervention could solve the issue? Or what's uh, the general attitude of Amnesty International towards humanitarian intervention? Um, I mean, that's that's far too complicated a <laughs> question to, mm -hmm. to give it. It's, it's not like a, a yes or no mm -hmm. question. Uh, Amnesty have been opened, uh, ha has opened up to take a stand on humanitarian interventions in some cases, uh, though I don't think it will be very often. It's not that easy that, you know, if you just put lots of 
like peacekeeping forces in place, you will have you will have peace. Um, so it's, but I think the option should be uh, regarded in more well more often. Well, thank you very much for your opinion. And as a last question, I would like to ask, uh, what are the main goals of Amnesty International for 2009? Um, during 2009, we will start a new campaign on focusing on, on the issue of poverty uh, in order to, uh, to reach a number of goals. Um, but I think maybe the main goal to reach is to change the, the debate about poverty uh, and to include a human rights aspect to it. And if we can do that, uh, I think we'll see a lot of progress over the upcoming years. Well, thank you very much for your interview. And this interview is hosted by our web channel, www.utbos.org. Thank you very much again. Thank you.